I mean, this sounds like a cliche, but phrasing um, and the tonality of what the instrument sounds like when you play it comes more from your hands than it does from the amp. And I think, I think most people have to realize that, but I think a lot of people don't. A lot of people get caught up in gear. And, and, and so a big part of it is, is how you phrase, you know, and, if, and when I play... A lot of times I'm hearing a melody in my head and it's coming into the guitar. So I know that I'm playing within a pentatonic scale when I do that lick, but I'm not thinking in the terms of what scale I'm playing, I'm thinking in the terms of... to the G, I might sing a different melody, back to my rhythm, but what I was doing there, I had a basic rhythm here, and then I was doing like a singing, and then I could put some words to that, and then, you know, I'd do a different chord change and sing something else and let the chord ring out to support the vocal. So that was a two-fold thing. So you have the communication between the riff 